Tell me how you feel about the single chapter in your career. I'm excited to be back in EuroLeague, to be motivated on this team. It's, uh, I think it's a good situation and uh, I'm excited for the year and I'm hoping that we have as normal of a year as possible and uh, we can finish the season, obviously. And uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I have excitement going into the year. Even though you played last season in the EuroLeague, did you miss it? Yeah. I missed it for sure, you know. Obviously, I left Milan, and at that point, uh, I was only there for a couple of weeks before the season was canceled. But even in Milan, I was missing, you know, that feeling of, you know, really, um, it wasn't the same, you know, for, for me. Uh, so I, I missed that acti actually affecting the game, you know. So I'm excited, uh, hopefully, that I can uh, be a player on this team that affects the games and um, grow with my teammates and uh, try to have a su successful season. How tough is for a player to change the team uh, in the middle of the season? Yeah, it was my first time doing that. It was weird, you know, like, obviously I have, I have my kids and my wife and I had sent them home because like I didn't know, I knew I was probably going to leave, but I didn't know exactly what time. So I didn't want to have to like leave the next day and then, then be stuck in Italy. So that was weird that trying to figure out the situation with, um, with my family. But in terms of basketball wise, it was, uh, it's it's just a little bit, it's difficult to come into a, a new team in the middle of the year, uh, try and learn their plays as quickly as possible, and then also now all of a sudden you're playing and the dynamic of the team is a little bit different and you're trying to find your way. So, I mean, it's part of the game, you know, it happens all the time, but it was my first time and, you know, it was, it was a good experience and I, I made my way, but it's, it's, it's definitely weird, you know, you prefer to be with the same team and to, to grow from the preseason to the end and, uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Do you think that Panathinaikos will have a chance to have an even better season than 2018? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, you always try to improve. You try to be better. Um, you know, and that's that's my goal. You know, obviously to be better as a player and to, to help the team win. And I think a lot of um, a lot of my success in, in Lithuania in my two years were, was because we were winning, you know? Um, so you're, you know, you look better, you're on a bigger stage, you're having success. So that's, that's my goal, you know, is to win. Um, they always say like, winning cures all, you know. So the more you win, the better you look. And um, not only personally, but as a team, you know, all of us want to look good. The coaches want to look good. The club wants to look good. And the only way that happens is by winning. What about the fans, the team? What can they can expect from you? I think the fans here are very knowledgeable about basketball. I think they have watched basketball, so I think they've seen me in the past. They know what kind of player I am, and uh, I'll just try and do what I've done my whole career, you know? Play with energy, play for the team, play smart. If I'm not mistaken, you went vegan a while ago. How does this affect you as a pro athlete, and are there any goals? Yeah, I went almost three years ago. Yeah, I feel good, you know? I, I was having a lot of problems with uh, my stomach and uh, digestion and stuff like that and I changed some things here and there. At the beginning I was cutting out meat, only eating fish and then uh, eventually I just said you know I can do without fish as well and uh, for me I feel good you know I'm recovering good, I feel healthy so there's there's no problems for me. I know a lot of people from the outside if you don't understand or you don't do research, the con can be about the protein. But if you uh, if you read enough books and if you understand the anatomy of the body and you understand what you're eating, then you can get the, the right amount of grams compared to your body weight and uh, different things, whether it be uh, protein shakes or um, you know other protein items that aren't uh, animal products. So.